I love it. It doesn't get any better than this. Cirque du Soleil honors a legend and captures the essence and soul of the king of pop in Michael Jackson, the Immortal World Tour. And joining me today, you've seen her, you've heard about her, she's been on the show, 19-year-old Desiree Bassett from actually Ashford, Connecticut, right? Okay, the first time I saw you, I think it was on, on uh, YouTube doing some wild, wild stuff. So we've got, and now Maxine, uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening with the uh, whole show at the Hartford Civic Center with Michael Jackson. It's totally different from what you've seen from Cirque du Soleil before. This one's more of a pop rock concert. It's not your traditional Cirque du Soleil acrobatic show. It's a mix or a blend between a pop rock concert and a Cirque du Soleil world. So you get the high-flying acrobatics, but you also get amazing choreographies, dancing, and live music, Michael Jackson's music. This is all a tribute to Michael Jackson. Yep. It's at the XL Center in Hartford. Is it uh, May 2nd and 3rd? Is that when yeah, it is? Yeah, May 2nd and 3rd, two nights only, and we're paying tribute to the King of Pop. So throughout the entire show, you hear Michael Jackson's music. Oh, my gosh. Hey, now, listen, Desiree, just tell me, how old was it when you first started, you know, picking up the guitar and playing? I first started playing at age three. Three years old? Yes. All right. Now, what was your, your connection with Michael Jackson? How did they find Desiree? How did it come together? Give us a little bit about that moment in time. Well, the musical director, and he's also the keyboard player in the, in the show, uh, he found my stuff on YouTube, and he had called my dad's cell phone and, you know, said that he wanted me in the band. And I had no idea this was going on, but I was listening to Michael Jackson in my room, and, uh, you know, my dad was like, send the info over, and I'll, you know, check it out and all. And he went inside, checked on his computer and researched, and I went downstairs for breakfast, and I was just kind of like jamming in my head and making my breakfast, and he told me, guess what kind of opportunity you just got yourself today? And I was At just not even- At 19 years old. I was not even thinking about it or anything, not knowing what was going on, so I just said Michael Jackson, and he looked at me all serious, and he's like, come look at the computer, and I'm just like looking at him like, are you serious? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Not and bad for the first gig, huh? Oh, not bad at all. <laughs> You're traveling all over the world jamming with, my, with the Michael Jackson music, that's great. Hey, listen, I'm uh, a geek, and I know I've been warned not to talk too much about this stuff because you got to play. Give us a quick tour around your guitar. The signature on this guitar is just incredible. Well, I have Ted Nugent, uh -huh. and then there's Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Joe Satriani, Michael Anthony, he was playing with uh, Van Halen, and there's Dickie Betts, and there's Sammy Hagar, though his signature's faded. Oh, that, bit, but. Tell us with Ted Nugent. That had to be wild. Tell us about your background with him. That was intense. I played with him about three times. The first time was in Rhode Island at uh, Lupo's Heartbreak. The second time I played with him on Father's Day in New Haven at Toad's Place. And then the third time was just coming back from New Zealand from a big music festival I was headlining. And uh, he was in the area playing at, uh, House of Blues in uh, Hollywood. And I, I decided, it was like, why don't we stay a few days and you know catch up with him? And I got to sit in with him that night, too. Oh, man, talk about Connecticut talent. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, to have you here today in the middle of this tour, you got to see it. Cirque du Soleil, it's all coming up on the May 2nd and May 3rd. And I actually understand that you're going to give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a Michael Jackson riff now. And it's actually, it's called Beat It. So, uh, Max, you and I better beat it so she can rip out. Boy. Desiree, <laughs> hey, everybody, thanks a lot for watching the show. Have a great day and do it with style. Take it away, Desiree. <laughs>